everyone. My name is Dr. Kirk Prine, and last month we talked about the archetype of the lover, the lover who's all about intimacy and connection and touch and, and uh, finding the things that block us from actually being connected to each other, to the earth, to our ancestors, to all of creation. This month, we want to play with the archetype of the sacred prostitute, that juicy one, that, that one that connects us to, and calls us to, to drop our shame and to open up to be of service through our bodies. The sacred prostitutes of old, um, you know, I'm wearing our, our magic cape uh, that our teacher Shankari the alchemist made for uh, both Donnie and I, she made a cape. And we went through kind of three years of, of learning about a whole process of, of magic and being alchemists and uh, one night she had us get naked and go out under the moonlight and do our ritual in our capes uh, and then drop our capes. And uh, um, what I can tell you is doing work like that, getting naked in sacred space is probably as ancient as the archetype of this sacred prostitute, where in the temples, the person would come to the sacred prostitute who would lavish, anoint, would bring herbs, and would use her or his body to wed the person into healing to wed them into an erotic experience, a healing experience, to drop shame, to be available to whatever it is the universe had for them to heal. So as you can tell, this is gonna be a juicy conversation. And for all you gay and queer men, how are you on a sacred prostitute journey? How are you on an erotic spiritual path? How do you connect through intention with your body that feels sacred? And that's what we're going to play with in our potluck on uh, in June following our, our equinox, summer equinox ritual. So, namaste. Namaste.